10, we've plotted our position using GPS here. Shortly afterwards, our GPS fails and the fog comes in so we can no longer see the coast. Without the ability to plot our position by GPS or by a fix from the land, the quickest way we can find our position is by using dead reckoning. Now this is also the least accurate method of finding our position, but it's the building blocks of our later work, so it's important we understand how to plot a dead reckoning position. We need to know two things to plot a dead reckoning position. The first is our heading, the direction we're travelling in. In this case, 146 degrees magnetic on our compass. The second thing is how far we've travelled in a set time. In this case, 6.5 nautical miles in one hour. First of all, we look at the heading. Now this heading is in magnetic. If we were to make an adjustment for deviation, we'd do it first. In this case, we're going to skip straight on to adjust for variation. We can see from our compass rows that variation is 7 degrees west. So in this case, we're going to subtract 7 degrees from our magnetic heading to allow for variation. If you're not sure why we subtracted as opposed to add in this case, have a look at our notes on variation. So you can see this gives us 139 degrees true. And it has to be a true bearing to allow us to plot it onto the chart because the chart is based on true north. Now we've got this bearing, 139, we take our plotter and we set in 139, like so. We present the plotter to the chart, aiming this edge for our starting position and then twisting the plotter until these arrows line up with the north lines running up the chart and more precisely that the lines running through this bezel in the direction of those arrows line up with the north arrows on the chart like so. Once we've done that you can see this edge is lined up with our start position we draw in the direction of travel If we're not sure which is our direction of travel, there's a handy arrow pointing in that direction. So, this is the direction in which we wish to travel. The other bit of information we need to know is how far we've travelled. That was 6.5 nautical miles. So using our dividers, we measure 6.5, put one end of the dividers on our start location, and the other along the line and we just simply mark that with a line rubbing out any excess and that's our dead reckoning or DR position.